Hi there, happy Monday. Welcome to our weekly hug devotion. My name is Kathleen Borsch and I'm the founder and the maker of the products like this one behind me at notsupergrace.com. And what we do here every Monday morning is we come together to reflect and pray on a weekly theme and some a Bible verse, a quote, and just a description of the theme. And we take that to God as a way to kickstart our week positively with community and with God by our side, inviting him in to our moments. Before we get started though, I do welcome you to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Just click the little uh, bell that's over there and, and subscribe and that way you have these in your inbox or you get the notification every single week when I drop a new one. If you want them in your inbox, all you have to do is go into the show notes below and there is a link that you can subscribe to our Inner Circle of Grace email community. And every Monday morning at 7 a.m., I drop one of these in your inbox and that way you have it right away. You don't have to go searching for it and it's there just for you. Another thing that I wanna share with you, this is our new reflection journal page. Free download, all you have to do is go into the show notes. All right. Here we are, let us jump into today's devotion. If you are following along in your own copy, go to August 14th. Today's theme is clear communication. The Bible verse is Psalm 1914 and it says, may the words of my mouth and the thoughts of my heart be pleasing to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. None other than Frank Sinatra called Billie Holiday the greatest influence on America popular singing of his generation. Though her career was short, plagued by health problems and addiction, Ms. Holiday forever changed the world of American jazz. Billie summed up her performances this way. When I sing a tune, I feel it. You can bet the audience will feel it too. That's true with more than just singing. The next time you want to get your message across, remember that excitement is contagious and so is apathy. Whether you're a teacher, salesperson, manager, or parent, your audience won't get excited about your message until you do. And this week's quote is from Charmaine Saunders and she said, there are many ways to communicate without actually speaking. Nonverbal communication and body language can convey as much if not more than speech. That is true, Miss Saunders. That is something that I've learned in life, but also through my former career in human resources management, um, that most of the time I, you have to look at the full picture. You listen to the words, you listen to the inflection, you listen to um, the body language through your eyes um, and, and see what kind of messages are coming across. Anyway, I digress. So I hope now you take a minute, take your journal page or just take your rosary, take it in your hands and use it as a tactile way to connect with our, our Lord right now. Use it as a way to take this message of clear communication and see where he needs you to take it this week. And if you have any questions or want to leave a prayer, just drop it in the, the comments below or shoot me an email. The information is, is in the, the notes below where how you can get in touch with me if you don't want to put it in the comments. But until next week, please subscribe, join our email list, join our community, and I can't wait to see you again next week. I hope this week is filled with blessings and a deeper connection with God. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us.